Hello everyone, it's me again, the Arcana Angel, and I'm um, doing a general reading or so, because um, it's after the holiday. I hope everybody enjoyed their um, Easter, you know, I hope y'all remember the reason for the season, uh, because he rose, we're able to live, and I thank God for him sending his Holy Spirit when he ascended. Because we ask the Holy Spirit to come and lead us and guide us today. Just give us some information and some spiritual uh, leadership. You know, we're looking for today. We ask the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit to give us something to think about today. Straight out the gates. The Knight of Pentacles reverse. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck. Uh, he got all the tools that he need, but he don't really know how to use it. So we're going to put him right there. Draw some cards. So, we got the Ace of Wands, a new passionate beginning with yourself, uh, a new opportunity to reconnect with yourself. We got the Four Cups, missed opportunity. Then we got the Page of Pentacles. Young energy, immature. Kind of like the Knight of Pentacles. It's younger than the Knight of Pentacles, but this is upright, the Knight of Pentacles. It's like you got to this point, then you stop doing whatever. You stop the movement, the progression. Then we got the Six of Wands. This victory card, Pursuit of Happiness. The Six of Swords, Retreating, Leaving. Taking, taking what you got and getting on, moving into a new horizon. And then we got Major Arcana, the tower. And transformation, all of a sudden, uh, you know, you see that tornado dropping out the sky. Tornadoes drop, all of a sudden, they just come down. Then, the underlying energy, the Ace of Cups. So let's see what, let's clarify a little bit, clarify those cups a little bit, okay, <laughs> not going to take that because I hadn't even asked the question, even though spirit know what we need, God know what we need before we ask. But if it's meant to come out, it'll come back out. And I just ask God to clarify this Ace of Wands. In the name of Jesus, what do you want us to know about this new passionate beginning? That's going to lead us to this Ace of Cups. This is the journey. What's the journey, God? In the name of Jesus, clarify this Ace of Wands for us, Lord. Clarify the Ace of Wands. Okay. And we got the two of wands in reverse. Not making a decision. New opportunities. But not using. But it went from the ace to the two. So you have started the journey. You started the journey. But now you at a crossroad. You had a crossroad. Okay. The Ace of Wands clarified by the Two of Wands. Let's clarify the Four Cups. What's the crossroad? What is the opportunity that you're trying to give us, Lord, that we're not accepting? What is the opportunity, Lord, that you're not, that we're not accepting? 
Four of Cups clarified by the Six of Cups. A new uh, opportunity. The well have run dry. See, I was looking at this Four of Cups card. And I noticed three of them are full. But it's one cup that's empty. And the one that's full is behind you. It's like you unfulfilled, unsatisfied about something. So you're thinking about the other cup. But you're not doing anything. You're just in your thoughts. You see those waves just in your emotions. And it's cloudy. In the six of cup, if the cl see those same clouds? At least you're looking upward now. You're thinking about it, but you still have a move. Hmm? Let's clarify this page of Pentacles. This new stable beginning. This use for energy. Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, speak to us, Lord, and clarify this page of Pentacles. Where is the area of immaturity at? Oof. The hangman. Spiritual enlightenment. So somebody need to get back to the basics. You know, you done got comfortable... In a situation that you wouldn't normally be comfortable in. That's why you. That's why the page of Pentacles. See. Immaturity. Because you're not used to the situation. This is something new for you. Which we knew it was new. Because it came out as the Ace of Wands. Let's clarify this victory card, Lord. Let's clarify this victory. What do we have to do to gain the victory? Become the emperor. Stand on the truth. Strong. Know what you know. Gather yourself up by your bootstraps. That's what the emperor would do. He not in his feelings about it. But you see those sons, that's happiness. From his head to his toe. So you will gain the victory once you become the emperor. Once you start walking in maturity. Whereas this is an immature. This is more immature. But this comes right before the king. But the emperor outreigned the king. This is divine timing. And that's what I told you. Spiritual enlightenment. You're new to this. But you want to do it. That's why you got the Six of Cups. And the Eight of Swords. You want to do it. You thinking about moving. Getting what you got and getting on. So let's clarify the Six of Swords. Once we get mature and start moving. Look. The Eight of Wands movements. I can't make this up. See that wheel is turning. It's time. See that clock in the middle of the wheel. It's time to move. Once you level up and get mature and and decide, you know, decide to step into who you are, step into that emperor energy, then stuff can move. And eight of wands is swift movement. Let's clarify this tower. What is this transformation? Oh God. Holy Spirit, Heavenly Father, what is the tower? What is the tower moment? What is going to be transformed in the movement, Lord? In the movement, God. What is going to be transformed in the movement? The Seven of Cups. Opportunities, choices. You gotta make a choice. 